Hello friends, now today we have the last class, the last 10th lecture on Nick Middleton's the Silk Road. We have come up to the end of the Silk Road. Okay, so as usual, we saw yesterday at the cafe uh, Darchen, he met Nick Mach Norbu, he was a Buddhist, not a he was a Tibetan, not a practicing Buddhist, we cannot say, but uh, somehow they became friends. And friends, they came to an agreement that they would be going together uh, to uh, complete the call. Okay. Now, before that, I see uh, his eyes lit up. His eyes lit up. That means he's excited. Lisa. So, when I saw my long lost friend, uh, my eyes lit up. He was excited. Uh, tem tempered by. Tempered by means uh, became uh, moderate. So to say, tempered by. Moderate. So when I when my father advised me, I had great enthusiasm to jump into a river and uh, um, uh, practice swimming. Although I was not trained, but my when my father advised me go after some training, then my my enthusiasm was tempered, became moderate, tempered, moderate. Then ill-equipped, not properly, uh, not having enough preparation, ill-equipped. See, sometimes people come to class ill-equipped, ill-equipped, means without notebook, without uh, pen, pencil, <laughs> or uh, some very often I have seen the students Entering the examination hall ill equipped. That is too bad. No? They don't take a pen and things like that with them. And then it transpired. It transpired means it came to be known. So it came to be known. Something came to be known. That is it transpired. So that uh, my uh, some knowledge. So you get some knowledge. For example, it is transpired that thousands of kilos of gold uh, are being sold in India, are sold in India, transferred, it, is, it has come to known. Then envisage means foresee. We always, at the end of the examination, when the examination begins, we envisage, we foresee what will be the results or how should you prepare yourself. Devout believers, means very pious believers, devout. Uh, devout believers, Every year they go for a pilgrimage to some holy place uh, on reflection, on thinking. So I, I, was, I was thinking to go to Himalayas, but on reflection I found that this is not the season. Uh, turn out to be, turn out to be means it, it, came, it, it, it came to be known, so to say. So I was thinking that the person who was traveling with me was my friend. But he turned out to be my enemy. Or oh, <laughs> he turned out to be a thief, something like that. And then prostrating himself. Prostrating himself means uh, lying down. Lying down with your, uh, on, with your stomach. This is this prostrating means. So when uh, you can see devout devotees, devout uh, believers, when they see. Uh, Holy men, they prostrate themselves before them. Prostrate. That is, they are on the stomach, no? that is. Prostrate them. You know, prostrate glands, you know, you have heard of that. So, very simple words and expressions today. And now today we have the conversation between Nobu, Nobu and Nick and the news. They agree to hire yaks. Yaks means uh, wild, wild uh, oxen, wild oxen, that is, or yaks. Yaks to, but they can be domesticated. So yaks to carry luggage and do the Kora as a team. Yes, he was waiting for a person, for a company, and he got it. At that time, as you said, his eyes lit up. Now let's go to the lesson. When the time uh, came for, for, uh, for me to tell him what brought me to Darchan, his eyes lit up. So we were having tea. He was having, having his tea, I was having my tea. And then uh, we became, so to say, we struck up a conversation. And then it was time, after having said, 
if you exchange this, I told him, I means Nick, the narrator told him, why I have come here, what brought me here? Then, uh, Norbu's eyes lit up, because he was very much excited, very anxious to know. Oh, you are also, I am also, you are also going, that is way. So, then he said, we could be a team, he said, excitedly. So, I have come here to do the corner, oh, then we could be a team, he said like that. So two, uh, is it that uh, who have who two academics? Is it two academics who have escaped from the labor? So that's what he said. Now we are done. We are come here to do some practical, uh, practical thing. That is a quota rather than writing like, writing articles and so on about that. Plus my was it thinking? One positive thinking strategy was working out for. So Nick says that Nick was very optimistic. He he was always thinking positively about things. So he 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 says that he was he was he was pro, practically he was in the dark. He did not want to do this core hello. He wanted somebody. But his friends, his the driver, Satan and his friend Daniel, they left him. There's nobody else. And pilgrims. No, it was just the beginning of the pilgrim season, so there were no, not enough pilgrims on the way to the pilgrim trail, on the plan of the track. So he was just worried. That day he was positive thinking. He started, he started, uh, he, the positive thinking strategy means, that means be optimistic. He thought that uh, somebody will come, then with him I will go. Or uh, here comes, as if God has brought uh, an angel before him to in the form of Norbu, but this is not an angel. The angels are very beautiful, but this man is very fat and he has got a, a huge tummy, umbrella stomach, as you will uh, see when we proceed with this passage. My initial relief at meeting Norbu, relief means my comfort, it was comfort, who was also staying in the guest house, was transferred by, but was tempered by the realization that tempered means it became a bit uh, moderate. See, but moderate. Tempered by the realization that he was himself as ill equipped as I was for the pilgrimage. So I thought that he is, uh, he is a, an experienced person. He has been writing academic papers on Gora and also people are there in the environment and so on. So I thought that he would be well equipped. Opposite of that, opposite of illiquid. But when I came to know that, he was also illiquid like my, by me. My excitement, the barometer of my excitement has came down. That is tempered by the realization. He kept telling me how fat he was and how hard it was going to be. So he said, you see, I am very fat, my stomach is somewhat lost. I don't know whether I will be able to complete this. Very high, he kept remaining. Uh, so tiresome to walk. So that's a kind of you say, negative thinking. I am very flat, my stomach, my tummy is too big and it's very tiresome. You have to walk quite a lot, very high up and so on. He wasn't really a practicing with this. He transferred, but he transferred, that made this, made this known. He was a Buddhist, but he was not a practicing with this. He transferred, it came to be known, but he had enthusiasm and he was, of course, of course, a Tibetan. See, two things about him is that he was a Tibetan. He had the enthusiasm to do the Quran. That's the second thing. Thirdly, but he was not a practicing Buddhist. Otherwise, he would not have been so fast, so fat, and umbrella stomach and so on. Although, I had originally envisaged, envisaged for so, for see, envisage is the present tense. So, envisage making the track in the Company of devout believers, on reflection, I decided that perhaps Norbu would turn out to be the real companion. So he came there, he came there with the intention of doing this Kora with the devout, very pious pilgrims. But now he got one, a person who is not a practicing Buddhist, he is not a, a devout believer, that I know. He'll come here just for the sake of this, his academic instincts. 
not religious instinct. But anyhow, I thought that it's okay on reflection, on thinking, my second thinking, so second thoughts. On second thought, I thought that okay, this no would do as a companion for me. He suggested we hire some yaks. Yaks means wild oxen, but could be a domesticated, used for carrying uh, uh, carrying luggage uh, like a donkey. Now he suggested we hire some yaks to carry our luggage, which I interpreted as good sign. Interpreted means I thought here. Or I explained, or I understood. I understood as a good sign, and he had no intention of prostrating himself all round the mountain. So the other is, what will happen is, if I carry luggage, I will be prostrating myself around. Um, I turn, uh, turn out, sorry, I uh, all around the mountain. That's what he said, and that is, he agreed. Nick, Nick said, okay, your suggestion, I agree. That's a good idea. So the. The luggage will be carried by yaks and we will follow them or we will go in front of them. Not possibly he cried, collapsing across the table in his teeth, he laughed. So it's impossible for me, he says. What? Prostrating, prostrating all on the mountain, it's impossible. And he fell on the table like this. And then, and then he said, so collapsing means falling across the table in a hysterical laughter. <laughs> and then I wasn't, and it wasn't his time. Anyway, his tummy was too big. It's too big tummy. Too big umbrella stomach. Like a pumpkin. So he says, it is, I cannot do it. It's impossible, he said. Prostrating is impossible. Prostrating means you have to lie on your stomach. That's impossible because. If they happen, it will be like a seesaw, <coughs> isn't it? So a huge stomach, people with huge stomach, if they prostrate, then one part will be up. And when, when that part comes down, the other part will go up like, <laughs> like a seesaw. You know? Children play, you can see in children's part and so So he said, see, possible, yes. I cannot do, I cannot even think of such a situation. And they have their agree, and they are going to do the core. I think today, we have a very simple thing to do. The exchanges continued, the conversation continued, they came to an agreement. Although the author wanted to do this quarter with some, in the company of some devout believers, here he found some, what he called a secular uh, Buddhist. Or we can say as, as Buddhist, who is not a practicing one, who eats too much maybe, that's why he's very stout and very fat and he has got number last and he's unable to prostrate himself. And we even carry his luggage. So he suggested that we should uh, hire some yaks. And Nick agreed to that. They decided to go. On reflection, on second thought. So Nick thought that he will be a real companion for me. So they decided to do the call. So with this, we come to the end of the Silk Road. I hope that you have been enjoying my classes. You have understood everything. And uh, uh, at each stage, I have been giving you the summary. I am explaining all the words expressions and so on, so I would suggest that you should use them in sentences of your own and internalize them. If no internalization takes place, no learning takes place. Understand? If you are just going through this and mugging up something, some information, what of that? Content is not the content is important in a way, maybe from the point of view of examination, but more than that, after each lesson you should assess yourself. Whether you have improved your language, whether you have improved your style, whether you can write in the style of these great Ovadis, uh, the lessons of uh, lessons written by whom we are studying. That's the purpose, the main purpose. Of course, there's an academic purpose of getting marks. I do, I do agree with you, but more than that, for life skill, for life purposes, what's important is you must uh, learn these things and in general. I hope that you'll be doing that. Bye. Have a nice time. Enjoy your life. From my summaries, I have written on this board, you know, on the left side of this board, you can see, you can answer all the questions, you see. All the questions. For example, importance of, what do you know about the Tibetan mastiffs, you see that? Um, then, describe, give an account of hawk, give an account of darchen. Uh, why do you say that it is a, a hawk and the darchen, they are miserable places? See, what was the intention of normal? 
Why did not book on that? What was the intention of the water? Then, uh, you know, this, uh, how the uh, people who live in the mountains, they, they reacted when they saw the, the, uh, the vehicle of, the vehicle that is used by uh, our friend Nick, Mr. Nick, Nick, isn't it? And what happened on the way? What are the hardships that they suffered? Then, uh, what are the health problems suffered by Nick? Why did Nick take up such a, such a difficult journey? Why, what, what made him to do this? These are questions that can be asked and easily answered, isn't it? What is that? You yourself can make questions and answer and then that's the best thing to do. Rather than going through other people and the questions made by other people, you should be able to, you should be able to write questions on passages that you have read, you have learned. Only then you will, it can be said that you understood. Question making is you try question making and then you will see that if you make, if you can make questions, you can also answer them. That's the best way to learn such lessons. Make a set of questions by yourself and then you try. I try to answer. Then go through the set of questions and see whether you have covered the entire lesson. If you have not, make more questions and then that will, uh, that will definitely help you to think. Thinking is very important. Understand? Unless you may ask questions, you won't be able to think. Once you ask questions you, to the lesson, try to find out the answers, it will be there forever with you. No problem at all. So bye, have a nice time, be optimistic. As the author says that positive thinking strategy is the best thing in this world. Whatever happens in this world, you know, face it with positive thinking strategy as it happened with the, or as Nick has done. Bye, have a nice time, enjoy your life, be happy.